Today, we will be covering setting the outdoor reset on the Sage 2.3 boiler control. When you energize the boiler, your home screen is going to look very much like this. If it's a combi, it'll say slash combi. Heat only, we boiler one. The front home screen is going to give you the current water temperatures firing rate, the current heating demand, whether it be central heat or domestic hot water, energy save on, it's gonna tell you that we're using an outdoor reset, that the, the sensor is active. Max efficiency on, this will come and go based upon water temperatures. Will only be there if return water temperatures are below 130 degrees. So to get into adjust the outdoor reset, we're going to press adjust. When we do, a little warning will show up informing us that improper settings or service create a risk of damage, injury, and or death. To keep going, we're going to press adjust. Then we'll come to the login area. And in order to enter the passcode to get into the product, we're gonna to have to press login. Once we do so, we'll have the password screen and we'll have our five zeros. We press the five zeros, the keyboard appears, and that's where we've done our password. The password to get in all of the products, condensing products from Velocity is going to be 86. We would press 86 and then enter. Once enter is pressed, it'll bring us to this menu. We'll show us our password. Our password is 86. We would then press save and adjust. At that point, it's going to enter us into the adjustment menus. There's four menu screens in there, but we're only going to be using two. First menu screen will give you system setup, pump setup, modulation setup, and contractor setup. We'll cover these in a separate video. We would press the arrow over bring you over to manual control, central heat, auxiliary heat, and our outdoor reset. We're gonna be in the outdoor reset menu, so we're gonna press outdoor reset. First screen in the outdoor reset menu is going to be outdoor reset, it's status enabled. If you were to disable it, it would stop looking for the sensor. If you're not using outdoor reset, the control will flash with an error. that will tell you outdoor sensor is open. Um, the boiler will still run with it, but we would need to disable the outdoor reset to make that go away. But for this training, we're going to leave it enabled. So with it enabled, uh, we're going to, have to set the curve. Out of the box, our low boiler water temperature is going to be zero, zero degrees. So when it's zero outside, the boiler is going to give 180 degree water out to the system. Factory setting going to be 0, 180, 70, 130. 70 degrees is our factory setting for our high outdoor temperature. <clears throat> high outdoor temperature is where we're going to have our lowest water temperatures. Again, out of the factory, it's 70 degrees, 130 degree boiler water is going to be going out. This menu right here often gets a lot of phone calls. Um, low boiler water temperature. This is going to be the set point at which the boiler is going to refire when it's the warmest outside. So if your set point is 130, the boiler is not going to fire back up again until it gets down to 110 degrees before the boiler will engage the burner to fire again. Next one is going to be our minimum boiler water temp. This is our lowest water temperatures. Uh, so it's again factory at 7130 and this is fully adjustable we can move this wherever we need uh, just as if we lower this we then in turn have to lower this and this is all covered in the I and O manuals the next feature is going to be our graph and once we have everything set up it'll give you the graph currently this boiler set up and actually it's 170 at zero, 
70, 130, low boiler temp to 110. Outside air, showing what the sensor is seeing. So it, with 18 degrees outside, our boiler is going to send out 155 degree water to heat the home. And this will give you a visual aid to see where your where your, where your set point's at. So as you move these numbers up or down, or move your outdoor your low outdoor temperature up, it'll it'll steepen the it'll steepen the curve and change the curve. Gives you a visual reference point as far as where your set points should be at. The last feature on here is our outdoor boost feature. And what the outdoor boost feature does is if uh, we've got very, very aggressive with our curve, um, we have it negative 10, 180, um, and we're trying to keep this boiler running very, very low for temperatures possible. Uh, when it gets really, really cold, if for some reason the call for heat's not satisfying, uh, it also it's going to boost the temperature of the boost the supply temperature 10 degrees every 20 minutes. Um, once it's reached its max temperature and the zone is satisfied, next call for heat, it'll reset and go back to normal. Um, this is also done maybe at that time, the unit's trying to satisfy a call for heat and the homeowner has the window open, uh, but it'll keep raising the supply temperature uh, until, the, until it reaches its max set point. Uh, if you have it set at 160, it'll stop at 160. If you have it set at 180, it'll stop at 180. But it'll keep raising at 10 degrees every 20 minutes until that zone satisfies. Once the zone satisfied, once the call for heat is, is ended, uh, it'll go back to its normal curve. 